Obviously, we've given a fairly positive outlook for markets here and a fairly positive outlook for the fund. And so the next question is, is you know, so what happens if we're wrong? Um, you know, it's fair to say that generally when things come and hit markets, uh, they're generally not things that, uh, that most people see coming. Um, COVID being a classic example where, you know, I don't think anyone was looking for, for, you know, a virus mutating from bats out of Wuhan was going to keep us locked in our houses for nine months when we started 2020. Um, and so all of our downside protection tools are really designed to deal with, you know, if things change. Um, and so from our point of view, we have a number that we can use. Uh, the first and the best one is just the ability to hold more cash. We can hold up to 100% cash. Um, the second thing we can do is we can short sell. So we can make money out of stocks going down as well as up. We can do that at the company level, but we could also, for instance, short sell futures. We could short sell NASDAQ futures, which would hedge the underlying portfolio. Uh, the third thing that we can do that we did do during the COVID crisis to quite good effect is to buy put options. We could buy, for instance, a put option on the market or essentially insurance, buy a safety blanket underneath in case we're wrong about this outlook. Um, and the last thing that we can do that's also useful is we can add to our US dollar exposure. And lifting our US dollar exposure can in many cases, you know, provide you with downside protections uh, in the market. And so those are the four main tools that we can use uh, to protect if, you know, if in fact this outlook proves to be wrong or if something from left field comes along that we otherwise hadn't expected.